How long is a day? How much can happen in it? Or in a minute? On average, during 2017, two companies closed down every minute in China. Other data shows that in 2018, a new technology unicorn company was born, on average, every 3.8 days. We live in an era filled with opportunities, uncertainty, and surprises. In this rapidly changing market, what makes the difference between survival and extinction? For science entrepreneurs who are tried both by scientific research and the market, the challenge is to maintain a steady position amid a whirlwind of development. Every few months, Yu De Chao visits Hong Kong, where his pharmaceutical company was listed on the stock exchange in 2018. As a company chairman, he needs to make regular reports to investors. In all major hospitals in China, an anti-cancer medication called PD-1 antibody is already being used. It was developed by Yu De Chao and his team. PD-1 acts by stimulating our immune system to attack the cancer cells. It demonstrates high efficacy for many forms of cancer. As one of the founders of oncolytic virus treatments, Yu Du Chao is the holder of over 60 patents. He has a global reputation in his field. 13 years ago, the 42-year-old Yu Du Chao decided to return to China. He wanted people in China to have the access domestically to the best tumor medicines. Developing new medicines requires a large amount of capital. As a scientist, Yu Du Chao has been trying to get to grips with the capital markets. In 2012, Yu Du Chao's company and the international pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly established a strategic partnership worth one and a half billion US dollars. It was a milestone for China's biopharmaceutical industry, but simple capital input does not guarantee success. His PD-1 anti-cancer medicine is one of the new medicines Yu Du Chao is most concerned with, but developing it is as tricky as catching a tiny fish in an ocean.
哪怕一点点不小心啊，就有可能陷入进去。After a long wait, the medicine enters the clinical trial stage. The efficacy exceeds that of similar drugs from other countries. 现在的情况，治的是非常不错的，肿瘤的那个变化情况小了非常的多。我们想注意，治疗经典的活期间淋巴瘤的有效率可以达到百分之八十左右，非常不错的，非常高的治疗效果。以中国的肿瘤病人来讲，是非常大的一件好事，里程碑的一个意义了。In March 2019, the first batch of the PD-1 anti-cancer medicine was delivered, with the retail price less than half that of similar imported drugs. Yu Du Chao's vision was realized: the dream of an affordable biomedicine for everyone. For his company, this new drug brought them a further drive to continue working and get further support from investors. More than 21 new drugs are now being developed in Yu Chao's labs. 16 of them are already in the clinical development stage, and the application of three drugs is due to be approved by the National Medical Products Administration. 我觉得我做医生是最幸运的人，我做的工作就是我热爱的，这可以对这个影这个生命有那么大的影响，让更多的人能够享受到这些科技进步带来的健康成果。对于科学家来讲，研究一辈子，有很多很多研究成果，这对这个社会可以做更大的贡献，就是让这些成果转化成生产力。It is the collaboration between inventors, entrepreneurs, and investors that speeds up the transformative effect of invention and innovation. Some of the great inventors were entrepreneurs themselves. Thomas Edison invented or improved more than 2,000 technologies and products in his lifetime. At the same time, he established or managed 13 important companies including the famed General Electric Company. Edison set six principles for invention and manufacture, the first being demand. Industry确实应该作为一个叫技术创新的主体，因为企业研发力量呢最能够接近市场、接近需求。我想我们可以预见到中国还会有大量的这样一些创新型的企业在快速的发展。When you fly from Yinchuan Airport, you'll find that you can check all the flight information using facial recognition. There is no need to show a boarding pass, and this too is controlled by facial recognition. Yinchuan is the first airport in China to incorporate large-scale artificial intelligence technology. It has made people realize the magical convenience brought by high-tech solutions. The team that created this technology is based in Chongqing. We can actually expand the image to the whole body. We can put the image in the body. Zhou Xi, the company's founder, led a team which won top place seven times in a competition in this field. He decided to start his own company when he was 34. Now, the problem of Li Bo is that his light has not been able to cover all the features. It's still a cross-industry industry. 就需要把那个客户的需求搞清楚。Shifting from the lab to the business world, 
Zhou Xi's wish is to have facial recognition technology better serve the public. The first opportunity Zhou Xi saw was in banking. Many procedures in banking involve identifying customer information, which takes a lot of time and energy. He wishes to develop a set of facial recognition protocols to simplify the system. The talented computer scientists have to try to adjust themselves to the complexities of market demands. Over the course of two years, the team came up with a total of 48 different plans. The customer finally signed the contract after the internal testing reached 99.8% accuracy. Now the system can complete compound analysis for over 2 million facial features. Even twins can be distinguished and identified within a second. With the assistance of a newly built light lab, the team is developing further technologies. In just four years, the company has become the number one in the global computer vision market. Its business has expanded from finance to civil aviation and security, among other areas. When scientists come into close contact with the market, curious chemical reactions can occur, even giving birth to new market demands. After graduating from university, Xie Tao worked in the aerospace industry. Then, in 2014, he resigned and sold his Beijing apartment to start his company. At first, many thought he was crazy because he wanted to build a satellite. Xie Tao is working in the crowded field of small satellites. Compared to large satellites, small satellites are lower cost and easier to mass produce. They can achieve higher functional performance by working in a network of linked units. This is seen as a blue ocean strategy with a potential worth of trillions of US dollars. In 2014, Chinese commercial aerospace began to gradually open to the civil market. Xie Tao felt this was a rare opportunity, but his startup team soon ran into problems. Although small satellites are more affordable, they still cost tens of millions of yen. There was no time for hesitation. On the one hand, development needed to be sped up, and on the other hand, the market for client demand needed to be identified. Mm -hmm. 
我觉得这个是挺漂亮的。现在学生反馈螺丝太多了。From serving for popular education to providing creative interaction for the public to emergency rescue and to providing monitoring services for wild pandas, Shi Etao's team thought up many possible business models. In 10 months in 2018, Xie Tao's team made two launches of eight small satellites. Among them, the Ladybug One not only offers space imaging services for hire, but also flashed Morse code from space to the world for the first time. This idea, a part of it, is also derived from UFO, a part of it is derived from Three T, the whole universe to be seen. So, on the ground, people. 可以去看到天上的这些卫星，进行一个有意思摩斯电板式的这种互动。哎呀，忘了得了，二十四。卫星还有一分三十秒，从地面地平面上升起来。争光一下，咱们回头再拍。April twenty fourth, twenty nineteen, the National Space Day. That night, space enthusiasts gathered in the Songzhu Daogu Wetland Park, waiting for the Ladybug One to cross the sky. 是现在目前是在一百四十七，我手指的方向。Five hundred forty-seven kilometers from Earth, the Ladybug One repeatedly flashed its Morse code message to join in the Space Day celebrations. 我们的一个整个的星座计划就是七十二颗卫星，还有三年的时间。Xi Etao's next goal is to build a low Earth orbit satellite network in collaboration with current operators to provide internet access service for rural areas, the sea area, and in the sky. The state's strong power after it can give you a company's support. That is, the 72-ray satellites can have half of the satellites from the United States to join the war and to join the war. 其实技术无所谓颠覆，市场也无所谓颠覆，只有技术和市场相结合，才能产生颠覆。Although there is still a long way to go, Xi Etao is full of enthusiasm. In an era with all kinds of possibilities, who knows how the future of a technology startup will turn out to be? Small and medium-sized companies have become the main source sustaining China's economic development. 66% of China's patents, 74% of innovative technologies, and 82% of new products are developed by these companies. However, as the market develops, it's also common to see these types of companies closing down. The key factor in their survival. Is whether their core products are accepted by the market. You must be the first, the top, the top. If someone else comes in with a better competition, then your technology, your product, will be lost. So, there are many, indeed, there are many unknown risks and dangers. The Ladybug One is the first to cross the sky. Ladybug One is the first to cross the sky. In Shenzhen, countless companies are born, replaced, or wither away every day. This gives the city tremendous metabolic energy. Zhu Ray's company does not stand out in that environment, but his product does, an endoscope that can enter the blood vessels in the heart. Cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases are the most common conditions among the elderly in China. More than one million cardiac stent operations are needed every year. At present, the operation is mainly carried out by X-ray, which influences the outcomes. To see better, smaller equipment is necessary. From the Kudu Mai Road to here, we have been following the Kudu Mai Road to the Kudu Mai Road to the Kudu Mai Road to the Kudu Mai Road. The OCT endoscope is inserted via a catheter wire. When in place, it can display clear images from inside blood vessels in real time, helping doctors to make more accurate diagnoses and improving the quality of surgery. Like a CT scan, the heart scan is about 3-4 meters. So your blood vessels must be in 1-2 meters. 
一毫米以下。The average age of this team is 31. In seven years, they built the world's thinnest endoscope with a diameter of just 0.86 millimeters. 的天壁情况自动的去判断出来，需要人工去判断。那我们根据这个要求呢，我们就研发支架的自动识别，预期可能在近两年，这技术就可以应用到临床上。Over the seven years, 60 million yen have been spent in developing the OCT endoscope, but it hasn't all been plain sailing. 一个技术可能一年就做完了。后面还有五六年时间，来做这些工程化的临床拿证的东西。这种过程投入，这种测试费用、人力费用都很大。我们最近新做了一条光纤束，然后用来导光，速追踪我们。Despite tight funds, Zhu Ri has begun mapping out a program for the next ten years. The goal is a microsurgical robot. OCT 呢是他的眼睛，激光消融像他手，就手术刀一样。那就是眼睛看到哪个地方，然后用手术刀把斑块去除掉，将是一个全新的颠覆式的手术系统。Turning this technology into a finished product is expected to take a decade and cost about hundreds of millions of yuan. Like the founders of many other startup companies. Zhu Ri feels the pressure over time and money. 对，都要烧钱，而且关键是还可能会失败。这么大量投入研发是否值得？有人说，研发投入是短期很难见效的，没有投机取巧的事情，也没有高性价比的事情，都是重大投入做出来的。There is no turning back. To keep ahead, one must continually invest in the future. That has been the most important lesson in global economic development since the 20th century. Huawei 每年投入研发的钱，比我们中国科学院全年的经费还要多。华为也找了很多数学家、化学家，这个来支持他们的基础研究。像华为这样类似的企业，已经慢慢有一批了，这是我们的希望。The investment China puts into its research and development in 2018 was almost two trillion yuan. Second only to the United States, more than two thirds of this came from businesses. The interconnection of labs, factories, and markets is accelerating. The chains of innovation and industry are linking up. This is where the aspirations of China's contemporary economy rest.